Oh, hi. I'm Warren Dickman. I'm a realtor here in Morgan Hill. A lot of people know me around town. You probably have run across me from one time or another. Or if you go on to YouTube, you'll know me as the old codger of Morgan Hill. That's what they call me. Well, I like that. They used to call me WD-40, but that was 34 years ago. Now they call me WD-74, and that's okay, too. But what I want to show you today and what I want to talk about is uh, real estate. We've got a property on the market that's been on the market for a long, long time, and it's followed the market down. And it's kind of sad to see that it's happening, but it's happening all over. It's not just here in Morgan Hill. It's all over the world, I'm afraid. And realtors adjust and homeowners adjust when they want to sell a property. This is a, a little mini ranch, or a little uh, uh, ranchette, you might call it. It's one acre of land. It's got a nice little home on it, nice swimming pool, pasture, barn, all the stuff of which dreams are made. And you know what? It's a little bit of country, just about five minutes from the heart of the city. Come on along. I want to show this to you. This is a very nice little house sitting on a one acre parcel, corner lot, not uh, yet incorporated in the city, but within the city limits of Morgan Hill. That factor alone always improves the chances of a property's increasing in value over the long haul. But before we drop down and start walking around the property and through the house, let's uh, look at it from this other view. First, I want you to notice not only that huge pasture behind the house, but that RV area to the right. There's actually a trailer that's in that picture sitting in there, and uh, there's plenty of room. I put left that in there just so you could see the size of that area. And notice how the house itself is setting so close to the front of this property, which means you can expand uh, to the left, you can expand to the right, or you can expand backwards. So keep all that in mind as we drop down now into the pick this uh, pasture, and we're going to walk out through this gate, and we're going to walk around the property on down to the corner where we'll see this corner fence that goes all around it. Very nice uh, vinyl fence with its uh, lifetime guarantee. And then we're going around now to the driveway area. And see that long porch? We're going to walk up through that porch now. As we walk up through that porch, you'll notice the brickwork that extends all the way up to the front door. And we're going to turn right instead of going into the front door. Go out on this path. Notice that beautiful brickwork. Now before we go in, we'll take a look at the landscaping in this front yard. First in front of the porch, which is to the left of the walk. And then over to the right of the walk, you see that huge tree with a brickwork around it. All very pretty things. But we'll go inside the house now. As we go through this front door, a hallway opens before us. The first thing I want you to notice is what looks like a lamp fixture in the ceiling of that hall. is actually a tunnel light uh, and skylight that's in the shape of a tunnel. keeps that hall well lighted. If you were to turn the corner... In, to the right to go toward the bedroom wing, you'd see another one just like it. So these halls stay lighted all day. You don't have to flick on lights as you go from one room to the next. And that's a real handy feature. At the end of the hall, you see the dining room area, which is right off of the rear patio. But we're not going to go there either. We're going to turn left into that alcove. And uh, this takes us into the living room. You can look through and see the bedroom wing. But in the living room, I particularly want you to notice the raceway ceiling. Now, you can see that a little bit better as we get into the dining room area. We'll have to turn on the lights here. Oh, it's better. Now you can see it. This is just another one of those little features that give this place a touch of elegance not normally found in a country place like this one. From the dining room, we walk conveniently into the kitchen, of course, with its granite counters. And I want you to picture yourself standing in front of that sink, doing whatever chores you do at that sink, and looking out that garden window. Don't you think those chores would get a little lighter if you could look out there and see people swimming in the swimming pool or looking at those hills to the east of the property or 
out into your pasture, out onto the road. It's just a, a wonderful view. But moving on in our tour, we'll head next to the family room uh, beyond the kitchen. It lies between the kitchen and the garage. This is a very nice room for kicking back in and listen to your music while you look out at the swimming pool through the sliding glass doors. Or you might want to go out to the pool area and relax out there a little bit. This entire home is uh, designed with relaxation in mind. From the pool area, walking toward the barn, you see that uh, octagonal pad there. That's a pad for a gazebo. If you ever want to build one, it's a good place to do it. This property was uh, on the market two years ago at, at a million two, and we turned down a million one and a half. Now we wish we had it. We're kicking ourselves, of course. Now that we've dropped down into the 700s, yeah, you heard that right. So I'd like to show you this property. There's a lot more to it. Give me a call if you're in town. It's 408-427-2361. It's on your screen. I'm the old codger of Morgan Hill, and I certainly hope that you are having a fabulous day.